Now, on to step two, building the foundation for the tape cast. You're going to want to take lengths of duct tape that are long enough uh, they should be, they should extend out at least a couple inches from either end of the footprint. Lay down that first piece. And then with each subsequent piece, you're going to want to lay that at least 50% over the previous piece. And you lay down enough pieces that then uh, you've got at least a couple of inches on either side of the footprint as well. All right, so that should do it. You can check, make sure, maybe one more piece here. So now, go ahead and peel this up and put the sticky side up, take your footprint, place it right in the middle, stick it down. And now with a utility knife, you're going to want to cut completely around the footprint, leaving about an inch and a half of space all the way around. It can be a little more than an inch and a half, but it shouldn't be any less. All right. So now, maybe starting at the outside here, you're going to want to cut straight out from the casting at a 90 degree angle all the way around, about spaced about three quarters of an inch apart. Okay, now you're going to want to use, we like to use uh, knee-high nylons. They're cheap, um, easy, and you don't mind cutting into them. If you, have, if you don't have this and you've got a thin sock that you would like to use, just know that you will be cutting into the sock. All right, go ahead and put that on. All right, so go ahead and place the foot right in the center of that footprint. And uh, make sure your feet are parallel, weight evenly distributed. And go ahead and give me your foot. I'm just going to make sure you're right where I need you. Your heel needs to be over just slightly. There we go. All right, so keep it nice and solid right there for me. And you're going to take these tape tabs and just pull them up, stick them to the sock. And it's important at this point to... Uh, just be aware of how hard you're pulling up on the on the tabs. If you pull up too hard, you can distort the footprint. It'll start to curl up over the foot. Just work it around here towards the toes. And it can be a little tricky right here at the toe, but just do your best to to stick it all the way down. Okay, so that looks good. And then the last thing that we do for step two is we take another length of, of duct tape, decently long. And then you're gonna want, you want a narrow piece here to, um, to reinforce the tabs. And so you just wanna rip that down the center. Usually if you rip it a little faster, you get a better tear. And then take that, come around the heel, and bring it forward. And then with the other piece around the toes and make sure that those pieces meet. Okay. 
So that completes step two. Now on to step three, tape casting the foot. You're just gonna take, you know, kind of look at the what you're taping here and try to rip off a piece of tape that's appropriate for that. And you do wanna make sure that it reaches all the way down to the tape you've already put on the foot. Now it can be difficult to always tear off the right length. Sometimes you'll, you'll tear off a little more than you need, and that's fine. Just go ahead and stick that excess down to the cutting surface, and we'll cut that off later. And again, when you're laying this tape down, just like when you were building the foundation with the duct tape, you want to make sure that you, um, you know, that each piece of tape is about 50% on the previous piece of tape that you put down. That gives you a nice strong cast that can hold up to, to uh, you know, transport and, uh, and, you know, some time. Okay, and once you get to the bend of the foot here, I usually like to start wrapping the heel. And one of the things you're trying to do here is um, reduce the amount of wrinkles that are in the casting. It's inevitable that you'll have some, but the best way to get a nice, um, you know, clean casting done is to use shorter rather than longer lengths of tape. When you pull off a long piece, it's easy for the tape to start to fold over and it becomes kind of messy. All right, so now just work your way up the foot. And we're doing a three button height casting here, which is typically about six to six and a quarter inches from the floor up, which we'll measure here soon. But you wanna make sure that you cast, uh, you know, maybe inch and a half to two inches higher than the top line for your moccasin. And make sure you get the back side here. You can't really see it, but you should be able to tell where you've laid that tape down and just seal it up completely. You don't want any gaps in the tape anywhere here. All right, maybe one more piece of tape. Okay, and so now we're just gonna take a utility knife and cut away this excess. Don't get too close to the foot, but just cut that away. And if there's any excess after that, you can just fold it under. All right, and that completes uh, step three. Now moving on to step four, which is marking the cast. First things first, you wanna feel for those ankle bones. We need to make sure that these are well marked. I usually like to just draw a circle around the ankle bone and then kind of fill it in. Okay. And then you wanna find your center point here on the uh, front of the foot, and that's typically between the big toe and the second toe. So right about there, and just go ahead and make a mark down to the, to the, to the mat. Okay, now I'll have you turn around. You've gotta do the same thing on the heel. Try to find that center point, and then just make a mark down here. Okay, and then give me the side of your foot. And here, um, this is an important line, uh, but we can't always make the adjustments if you send it to us and we realize that maybe it's either a little bit too forward or too far back. But generally speaking, you're going to make your mark on the side at the base about four to five inches from the heel forward. Or another way to look at it is just to come down from the knee straight down and then make a little mark. And then you're going to want to do the same thing at the top of the cast 
about halfway or the center point of the side of the leg here. And then you're going to want to connect those two and you can do that by S curving like dropping down, S curving around the ankle bone and coming down there. You always want to miss the ankle bone. You don't want to seam or anything on that. That can be dis dis uh, uncomfortable. All right, and so now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make that measurement. We're doing a three button height. So that's about six to six and a quarter inches from the floor. So we'll do a mark right here. And just make it, you know, a couple inches long. And that'll be enough for us. Okay, so that completes step four. Now, last thing here, we're going to take a pair of scissors, and you want to be very careful here, but go ahead and pull down the, the nylons, and then you're going to take a pair of scissors and you want to slip one of the blades um, behind the casting. And what I like to do here is take my finger and put it behind the casting to give myself a little gap. It can be a little difficult sometimes to get the pantyhose cut. And then you're just going to take little cuts all the way down, being very careful not to uh, poke the skin here. Right here at the bend of the foot can be a tricky spot because you're bringing that blade down on a uh, on the top of the foot, so just be careful there. Continue cutting down. You don't necessarily need to cut it all the way down, but at least to about there. And then go ahead and take a seat. Starting with the heel, sometimes the foot can be a little sweaty and it's hard to get the, the casting off, but you just want to pull on the heel and then slip the foot out. And you've got yourself your casting. Now the last thing that you need to do here so that it doesn't all stick together. You can leave the sock in it, but you want to take some talcum powder, some baby powder, and you're just going to liberally dust that, making sure you get some in to the toe area, and then just kind of dust that out, make sure it spreads nicely all the way in there, and then this is what you're going to send to us in a box with plenty of room so it doesn't crush the casting. Are you guys done? Yes. <laughs> okay. I think so. We've been playing. Okay.